I know one, one speech that definitely stood out to me was Shalit Calhoun. You know, he was a guy that kind of, you know, took me under his wing, um, kind of took a liking to me from, from the jump. And uh, it was, it was you know, mutual, mutual respect for each other. Um, but, you know, his speech stood out to me because he, you know, brought it all together as far as, you know, Coach D talks about completing your circles. And he went from, you know, when he was a red shirt freshman, you know, on the scout team to him being a, a All-American, you know, superstar uh, DN here at Michigan State. Um, and just to be able to hear that journey and, and, and the lessons that he learned over that time and, you know, from the coaches and just the support staff, it was, it was amazing. I used to sit back there and honestly write down things like, man, I can't wait for my senior speech. And that's another reason why I wanted to be here for my senior year. I think this is a special moment for our seniors to be able to get up and, and address the team. You know, I, I feel like this is a special moment for us and where we can address the whole, the whole team, where it's not just players, it's the staff that's on board also, where, you know, they could, they could understand where we come from and, and why we're so happy to be a part of this team. One thing that I want to make sure, um, that I've always wanted to make sure when it comes time for me to, you know, deliver my senior speech is that I keep it real, you know, um, nothing forced or made up just to sound good, you know, for the coaches or anything, but I want to be able to be real, you know, with my teammates, with the guys that I've been here with, um, and give those freshmen a chance to hear, you know, from the perspective of a fifth year senior who's been through the ups and downs, who's been through a three and nine season, who's won a Big Ten championship, who's graduated, I have my degree. Um, but just to give a real side of things, you know, while being a, a player here at Michigan State. All my life I've, I've been good at writing. Um, I think it came from, you know, me reading a lot of books when I was younger and being able to, you know, form sentences and put words together and, you know, the, the way that they should go together. Um, but I really didn't get into journalism until my junior year of high school. I took an elective, you know, just journalism and being able to go out and have to get get stories and learn about people and you know hear their perspective because one thing that I've learned over the last couple of years is that life is about you know perspective because you never know what somebody is going through what somebody else's journey somebody else's story is. Well, growing up you know on the east side of Detroit, you know my parents they they raised me very well. Big focus is always school first. Um, they really didn't push sports on, on onto me. First sport I played was soccer, and I, I just loved it, running, running around out there as a you know, little six, seven-year-old. Um, then I got into baseball, and I started playing football at eight. From my dad, you know, playing football, just watching his old tapes and just hearing the stories about him, and being able to actually start playing, um, that was, I felt, it was something I fell in love with, you know, very early on. And went to high school, um, me and my mom, we moved down to Missouri. Um, so I was down in Kansas City at Lee Summit West, for my freshman and half of my sophomore year. Um, it, was, it was a great experience. You know, I met a lot of, a lot of great people down there. Um, the football program was awesome. Um, the school was amazing. Um, but I, just, I, I, was, I was homesick, you know, and I wanted to come back up here uh, with my dad. And that's when I ended up at King. You know, and my dad played at King, my mom went to King, two of my aunties went to King. Like, so, you know, that, that's, being at that school, you know, meant something to me just because of the legacy that my family had there. Um, and, you know, I was able to, to do well at King, you know, academically and on the field, and earn myself, you know, a spot here at Michigan State. Well, obviously, you know, my dad playing at Michigan, um, it, it, it definitely weighed in on the decision, but at the end of the day, you know, he always told me that it was my decision to make and he would be happy, you know, with whatever, wherever I went because he trusted me that I knew, you know, what would be best for me at the end of the day. Well, I was a little bit discouraged um, when I figured out, you know, that I was going to be on scout team because I had enrolled early. Um, I was the only early enrollee in my class, and you know, going through spring ball, you know, you expect to get a to get a head start and a jump um, on things. But I I wasn't quite where I needed to be, you know, uh, developmentally. Uh, so you know, but. I had to embrace being on scout team and going against, you know, the, the one of the best offenses in the country with Connor Cook, you know, Jack Allen, uh, Aaron Burbridge, those type of guys. Being able to just go against them every day and hone and work on my craft was something that that helped mold me into, you know, the player that I am today. Snap to O'Corn. Draw play, nothing doing. Oh, wow. Evans will lose yardage. Lost about four, back to the 37, Tyreek Thompson makes the tackle. My favorite personal moment was 2017 
down in Ann Arbor, um, playing Michigan and winning. You know, that was my first time actually getting um, like significant playing time against against U of M. And that game, you know, just means so much to me. Like I said, because of you know my, my dad playing there, um, and it's just that, that that game definitely definitely meant something to me. You know, we going through the dog days of camp, um, and to be able to come in those team meetings and and hear you know guys deliver their speeches, it it, it kind of gets you away from football for a little bit and gets you to connect you know on a more personal level with a guy you might not have had a chance to before. Um, and like I said, everybody getting to tell their story is, is just is, is special, most definitely. Coming to, you know, deliver my own speech, I definitely think back to, to all the speeches that I, that, I, that I remember and stood out to me. Um, because being able to have that impact on those younger guys, it, it makes all the world a difference. It's definitely a rite of passage, you know, uh, over the years. You know, you, have, you, you gotta be able to, to make it through to the end, and, and like I said, Coach D, with, uh, when he says, you know, complete your circles, that's, that's really big. And I think, like, at the end of it all, that is the culmination of you completing your circle. You know, a lot of guys, they, they don't necessarily get a chance to address the team, but at the end of everyone's career, they do get a chance to stand in front of the teammates, stand in front of the coaches, the support staff, um, the athletic trainers, and, and give a side of their story, you know, since they've been out here since they've been here at Michigan State. Um, and I think that's, you know, something important, um, something, something that everyone should get a chance to do. Appreciate all the love, man, for real. Oh, man. Woo, it's been five years.